Good afternoon and welcome to Trust Arena in Henderson, New Zealand for match day four of the OFC Champions League. It's the first match of a double header. It's Auckland City, the defending champions, up against AS Dragon. And it's a vital game for both sides. A victory here for Auckland City would take them into the final four. And for Dragon, well, it's all to play for. They lost their last match with Waitakere United by a goal to nil in Papaiti. And they sit in third place. Now, given that Waitakere have got two matches to come against AS Mondor, and presumably they will win those games, although uh, you never can tell, Dragon will be out to get something from this match. And they're going to have to do it without uh, their skipper, Nicola Valar. Valar has picked up uh, another yellow card. He's suspended for this particular game. And a new back four is installed, more or less. As Dragon go in search of uh, some vital points to keep them in touch with uh, Auckland City. And to perhaps fend off uh, a late revival by Waitakere United. Auckland City today is their 46th match in Oceania Club competition. Going back to 2005, they've won 30 of those games. They have 11 draws. They've lost just four matches in that time. And it's intriguing to uh, consider that their first two games in the 2005 OFC Club Championship were both defeats to Sydney FC and ASPRA, curiously enough, the Tahitian champions of the time. The referee for today's game is uh, Gerald Oyaka, who uh, a lot of New Zealand fans will remember from the World Cup qualifier between the All Whites and Tahiti, played uh, in Christchurch. A particular, uh, particularly volatile game as well, if you uh, cast your mind back. Gerald Oyaka is assisted by Chris Walken and Ben Norman. The uh, fourth official today is Mirko Benishka. Auckland City have played uh, six games against Tahitian opposition on home soil. They've uh, won all six of those games. It's away from home that uh, that record starts to well, not quite unravel, but uh, the five games they have played away from home, two wins, two draws and a defeat. But Dragon are in the mood to change history. They've already done that by uh, taking a point off Waitakere at Fred Taylor Park earlier in the uh, group stage. They're going to have to match that or better today if they're going to retain any interest in a potential semi-final spot. Skipper for... AS Dragon in the absence of Nicola Valar is Mikhail Roche, the goalkeeper. And Ivan Vissilic wearing the armband for Auckland City as we go through the pre-match uh, formalities. Coin toss coming up. And it looks as though uh, Ivan Vissilic has uh, won that particular opening encounter. So only uh, three changes for Auckland City to the side that beat Mondor. Andrew Milne and Daniel Koprasic uh, both start. And Albert Riera, who was originally listed to play in the hole there, has been replaced by Pedro Garcia after failing a fitness test in the warm-up here today. For AS Dragon, it's a familiar 4-3-1-2 lineup, And uh, there's no Nicola Vela. Sebastian Garin is uh, locked in at centre-half. Vincent Simon has switched from left back to right back and Edson Lemaire comes in at uh, left full back for AS Dragon. The man in your picture there who's uh, got a rather laid back approach uh, in the opening, opening couple of minutes of this game. That's Raimon Ali Funkui who starred for an Oceania 11 against the LA Galaxy now uh, some five years ago. 
Lee Fung Kui and Stevie Chong Hui are going to be the danger men. Fires Dragon, if they're going to get on the score sheet, we're underway. And already Gustavo Suta with a long range shot. Uh, it was only parried by Mikael Roche. And the weather conditions are going to be haphazard for both goalkeepers. We've had steady rain since uh, the weekend here in Auckland. Pritchett with his first touch. Koprasic. Pritchett hoisting it forward looking for Suto. Edson Lemaire gets a head on that. Porto Bear now that's offside. So a big test for the Ace Dragon back four without Nicola Vella. Interesting effort this from Suto from quite some way out and uh, it tested the goalkeeper early on. Koprasic. Karawan has picked that up for AS Dragon, Raimana Lee Fung Kui. Stevie Chong Hui looking for Te Nui Teho perhaps. He's going to need uh, a hand from Edson Lemaire. And the ball skids off the surface uh, beyond Stevie Chong Hui. And it's back with Auckland City. So an extraordinary playing record uh, for Auckland City in continental competition. Garcia's given this away to uh, Teho. Thought about a, a shot. He's gone past uh, Vicilic. He's picked it up at the second attempt. The Auckland City skipper. Koprasic. Losing out to Kanawa. Lemaire. Just one goal in three hours of football action between Dragon and Waitakere. You get the feeling that today could be just as tight. Chong Hui looking to size up a shot perhaps. Oh, he's played that a, a little bit short. And Mario Bielan has uh, cleared the danger. It's put, uh, well, Adam Dickinson lashing out at uh, Bargman. And he'll have to watch himself here. Adam Dickinson, he's the leading goal scorer in the competition with six goals. Got a fiery temperament to go with it as well. Mind you, if you look at that challenge from uh, Tamatoa Wagman, he left a foot in. And Dickinson didn't like it. Andrew Milne. And on the wrong page to Adam Dickinson. It's out safely for a goal kick. Good jump by Exposito. It will be a dragon throw just on halfway. Well, Vincent Simon tried to steal a couple of extra yards and Gerald Oyaka spotted it. Malayas Dragon lifted the Tahitian title for the first time in 40 years to uh, achieve qualification for the OC Champions League this season. Exposito trying to uh, link up with Dickinson. Vincent Simon has earned a throw in for his side. Well, as a group of players, AS Dragon have been together for well over 18 months, and uh, it's certainly shown. They've spent a lot of time in camp together with the national team. The OFC Nations Cup, this uh, latest round of OFC World Cup qualifiers, FIFA World Cup qualifiers. And the Coupe de l'Outremer, which uh, involves the club sides from New Caledonia and the French overseas departments, uh, has also usually attracted uh, the same group of players. 
They take on sides such as Martinique. Adding to valuable experience when it comes to these sorts of matches, and it's certainly shown in the opening three match days of this competition. Four points they have on the board. Chris Bale, Phelan, Andrew Milne. Exposito's made a run just in behind Vincent Simon. Touch is a bit heavy. He's looking for a throw. Doesn't get it. Kanawana. It's a good ball for Edson Lemaire to run on to. Plenty of space in front of him, Lemaire. He keeps going. Chong Hui. Kanawana trying to switch play. That's ambitious. And... Uh, ultimately ends up as a goal kick. Well, both sides just trying to calibrate their passing game at the moment. In these conditions, that's not easy. Simon looking for options. Exposito, first touch, uh, difficult on this greasy surface. Chris Bale shuts down Vincent Simon. Well, the ball is uh, zipping off this uh, greasy surface. Vicilic, Bale. Now Mario Bielan. Auckland trying to find a way through this uh, sea of orange shirts. Andrew Milne uh, picked up a, a slight knock against Waitakere United in the Super City Derby on match day two. He missed out against Mondor and has been reinstated at the expense of Takuya Iwata. Here's Pedro Garcia all the way back to his goalkeeper. Clearance is a useful one. Suto trying to negotiate away beyond uh, Sebastian Gowen. He can't uh, do so, but he has got a throw in. Koprasic from Pritchett's throw, and it's out. And the pressure goes off, AS Dragon for the moment. Well, Tafana flew the flag for Tahiti in last season's OFC Champions League final against uh, Auckland City. They've beaten 2-1 in the first leg. They lost the second leg 1-0. And prior to that, you have to go back to 2006 when uh, AS Piray made it all the way to the final at North Harbour Stadium. And uh, they were eventually beaten courtesy of a Jordan, uh, Karen Jordan hat-trick. And there's a real feeling that this uh, AS Dragon side could be more than capable of matching the achievements of Tefana and Pire. But at the moment, they're going to have to defend a free kick. Chris Bale moves forward. Mario Bielan has joined him. Ivan Vicilic also uh, predictably adding his presence to that trio. Now, Garcia's delivery has been uh, a particular concern for some defences. He swung this in, and uh, a chance perhaps for Auckland. Koprasic sets it up for Milne, left foot shot straight into an opponent. It's back with Auckland. Koprasic, can he get the ball into the box? Karawan for company. And Karawan does well. It's a throw for Ash Dragon. There is Garcia's free kick. It was a useful one. Fell to Suto, then it fell to Exposito. Koprasic 
teed it up for Andrew Milne, the left foot shot. Fired straight into an AS Dragon player. Beelan. Very composed on the ball, Mario Beelan, as you'd expect from uh, a player with his vast experience. Bale. Vincent Simon out jumps Exposito. Adam Dickinson's uh, battling away for possession. And Exposito gave uh, a bit of a shoulder. Dragon have tried to take that quickly. They've uh, turned possession over. Well, there is a feeling that uh, the addition of Mario Beelan to this Auckland City side has added uh, an extra 30 or 40% to their overall uh, capacity. They did miss uh, Angel Belanga when he left for Sporting Club de Goa in the January transfer window. Beelan is a natural left footer. Garcia takes a free kick quickly. James Pritchett clipping a ball into the channel for Suto. Suto's first time cross to the near post. It found Dickinson. Mikael Roche calms Dragon nerves down. Here is that first uh, time ball. I'm not sure what infringement was spotted there. Looks like uh, Wagman's convinced he was pushed by Dickinson. Vasilic loses a header to Raimana Lee Fankui. You don't see that too often. It's a difficult tactic to uh, employ the uh, long ball today, if, even if the, uh, the striker does get up and win these long kicks out from the goalkeeper, trying to latch on to the second ball for a teammate is going to be extremely difficult in these uh, weather conditions. The surface, as you can see from uh, James Pritchett's miscontrol there, is uh, extremely treacherous. Raimana Lee Fankui. Koprasic does the defending. Garcia, that was intended for Suto, but it's actually going to fall into the path of uh, Exposito. Suto's joined in. Well, Mikhail Roche as a goalkeeper has improved markedly in the last couple of years. He's assumed the number one jersey for Tahiti. He's relegated teammate uh, Xavier Saman to the bench at both uh, club and international level. And he was quick on his toes here, spotted the danger, went across to deal with it, and did so capably. Pritchard decides to go long, looking for Suto. It's a good jump by Garin, but uh, it's fallen to uh, an Auckland City player. Boraba, long ball searching for Te Anui Teho. It's going to be too long. Well, Auckland City's last outing in the OFC Champions League, that 12-2 victory over Mondor, was cause for some concern for coach uh, Ramon Trebuliac. He, he mentioned that uh, although it was uh, healthy for the goal difference, it might not have been so uh, healthy for the psychology of the team going into this game with Dragon. That competitive edge uh, was lost within the first uh, 10 minutes or so as that game uh, unraveled. And Mondo were completely and utterly outclassed. Nine nil up at half time, Auckland City were in that game. Chris Bale. 
Certainly a player who's been freed up by the arrival of Mario Bielan, Chris Bale. He was employed as a placebo centre-half in the absence of Angel Belanga. And uh, since the arrival of Bielan, he has been able to push into midfield where he's more comfortable. Very powerful player. Excellent passing range. And uh, has a knack for coming up with crucial goals. Well, Trust Arena hasn't always been uh, the happiest of venues for Auckland either. They uh, played Waitakere United here in a Champions League fixture a number of years ago, needing a victory. They got off to a good start. Uh, Ki Hyung Lee scoring after three minutes. They ended up drawing that fixture, and it was enough to topple them out of the competition on goal difference. As we see Romana Lee Fung Kui trying to find a way past uh, Pedro Garcia. And his pass goes through to uh, Tamadi Williams. Well, this rain continues to fall here at Trust Arena. There doesn't seem to be any let up. And it is affecting both teams. Jonathan Tejo's uh, caught out in possession here. This could uh, be a moment for Auckland, perhaps. No. Milne taking on Simon. He's gone inside. Uh, Simon is into the penalty area. Garin steps in with a clearance. And it's all the way back to Williams. Start again for Auckland City. Suto, a goal in uh, every game so far in the OFC Champions League, Gustavo Suto. Now this has opened up for Milne, he might wind in across. Does so, Exposito's header onto the top of the goal. Mikael Roche had to check it all the way. Milne with a left foot cross, just bending away, difficult for a centre half and uh, a striker to deal with. It was uh, Exposito, though, who rose highest. Well, Simon has uh, won that without uh, fouling Exposito. He's gone for a first-time cross. It's not a bad one, actually. Stevie chong Hui was unmarked. He won't be able to keep the ball in, though. James Pritchett has a look over his shoulder. Vissalich slips. And it's going to be a dragon throw. Well, whichever team handles these conditions the best is... Uh, Quite possibly going to prevail here today. Chonk away. And the cross is a harmless one for Tamadi Williams. Well, for most of the ASB Premiership, uh, the weather conditions were dry as you'd expect during a, a summer but uh, so dry in fact that New Zealand was gripped in a, a drought here is Bourbier lining up a shot and uh, well in the end it became nothing so it has uh, more or less been drought conditions for most of this season it's only in the last two weeks here that uh, the weather has uh, closed in So in some senses, the uh, conditions will be uh, just as 
foreign to Auckland as they will be to AS Dragon. Ball won by Chong Kwe, looking for Tianui Teho. Hermano Borba has uh, chased down Pritchett. Vesilic's first time ball finds Suto. Back with Bale. Garcia. Pritchett uh, over halfway here. Cuts it back for Garcia. That's a nice piece of uh, interchange between the two. Suto. Now Bale in that deep set position between the centre halves. Milne. Kopricic can't hang on to it. Picked up by Tanui Teho. Trying to link it through for uh, Stevie Chong Hui. Gets a second go at it. Milne straight to Jonathan Teho. So we're in the 22nd minute, Auckland City nil, AS Dragon nil. Match day four of the OFC Champions League at Truss Arena in Henderson. The first of two matches here today. The second between uh, Waitakere United and AS Mondor kicking off at six o'clock. Well, Dickinson's turned Karawan. Tried to uh, play in Exposito with the outside of the right foot. It's in Lemaire. Has picked up a free kick for his troubles. Kopricic wins the uh, Roche free kick. Garin has headed it forward. Well, Sebastian Garin is uh, really on a, a hiding to nothing, coming in to replace Nicola Vella. He's going to rely heavily on uh, the consistency and familiarity of uh, Vincent Simon and Tamatoa Wagman, Edson Lemaire, who have uh, been there and done that all before. For a centre half, uh, Sebastian Garin is not the tallest of players. And while he has the carrot of uh, turning in a performance for his club side today, for the bulk of the Sayers Dragon side, uh, there is the small matter of a FIFA Confederations Cup that is looming, and national team jerseys and positions to jostle for. So there's plenty at stake for AS Dragon. There is a double dream, uh, of course, for them to perhaps try and realise that is a FIFA Confederations Cup appearance with the national team and perhaps a FIFA Club World Cup appearance with uh, their club. That's going to be in Morocco in December of this year. Feeling's head is straight up in the air. No free kick. Oh, it's given. It was rather late. Bale's suggesting that it's a dive. And it's in a handy position for AS Dragon. Let's have another look at that uh, challenge from Chris Bale. It seemed innocuous enough, and Tainui Teho appeared to have just slipped on this, on this greasy surface. Well, it's academic now because uh, Dragon do have the free kick regardless of uh, 
Interpretation. Vincent Simon will take it. Raimana Lee Funquia is at the far post. He's picked up by Andrew Milne. Jonathan Tejo could be a target. Very handy in the air. Makes a run to the near post, but uh, Simon can't get the ball into the six yard box. It's cleared by James Pritchett. Karawan. Lemaire. That's a wild uh, attempted uh, pass for Tamata Wagman by Lemaire. Dickinson's picked it up now. He's going to need uh, help from a navy blue shirt. Well, Dickinson, using all his strength and uh, presence, has earned his side a throw in. Well, Dickinson and Tamata are going at each other here, and the uh, referee will do well to step in now. That's been on the boil for some time, for the best part of the last 25 minutes, in fact. Mill might try for the corner. Parkman clears it. Well, Dragon's struggling to clear their lines here. It's away eventually by uh, Borba. Vesalich. Andrew Milne is forced to uh, hack that one out. Stevie Chong Hoi. Well, Mario Bielin was uh, taking a risk there, putting his hands on the back of uh, Stevie Chong Hoi. Simon beats uh, Chris Bale. Winds in and well, that's a pretty useful ball. Tamari Williams read it though. We're in the 27th minute. Uh, nil nil the score. This was a wonderful pass by uh, Vincent Simon and Tainui Teho was unmarked as he uh, dashed into the box. Williams fortunately read it uh, like a book. Kopricic plays in suit. Oh, and the flag goes up late. The assistant referee had a good long look at that one before making that choice. As Dragon won't be complaining. Well, for coach uh, Ludovic Graunyar, so far so good. Richard's header only as far as Karawan. Plenty to admire about uh, Henri Karawan. He uh, just sits in front of that dragon back four, giving them uh, protection. But he's uh, pretty handy on the ball as well and contributes a lot to some of their attacks. Switch of play. Did the same for Tahiti at the OC Nations Cup. Bale. Ivan Vasilic. Bale chooses to go long. That's going to skid on the surface and uh, go out for a goal kick. Seen that quite often uh, so far in this first half. Any ball that's played direct and straight has uh, got to be on the mark or it's just going to leave its intended target far behind. Jonathan Teho.
Tidy work to pick the ball up, uh, Jonathan Teja. It wasn't so tidy the uh, final pass. Feeling uh, guilty of similar. Simon. Tomatoa of Agman all the way back to his goalkeeper. Mikel Ross, who takes a touch, invites Suto to have a go at it. Andrew Milne, Garcia, that's a free kick, no doubt about that, and Garcia one, uh, presumes will take this uh, free kick as well. Second touch just took him beyond the uh, opponent, Jonathan Tejo, and uh, there's no doubt about the uh, correctness of the decision from Gerald Doyak. Uh, Garcia with a free kick. Oh, Vissalich has hit the crossbar. So close for Auckland then. Just inches away from giving Auckland the lead. Quality of the delivery was uh, spot on. And look at the jump by the Auckland skipper. The ball rattling the crossbar. And that's the closest they've come to scoring a goal today. get the feeling that might be uh, the best opportunity that uh, they'll get from these set plays uh, given the conditions are compromising perhaps some of the quality that's not a bad ball by Dickinson perhaps I spoke too soon it's a corner for Auckland So what can Auckland produce from this resulting corner? It goes to the far post where Vissalich is uh, loitering and an infringement's been spotted. Well, Tamatov Ackman seems to be the focal point for uh, a lot of the uh, on-field tension that's uh, brewing away. He's drawn the eye of Ivan Vissalich. He's already... Uh, Involved in a head-to-head -head with Adam Dickinson at the moment. Andrew Milne getting some running repairs. He's taken a whack in the face. Like uh, Auckland may be reduced to 10 just momentarily. Garcia, Chris Bale. Fizzlich going long. Tamatov Wagman's header only as far as uh, Exposito. That's a clear foul by Karawan on uh, Bale. It's going to be a free kick for Auckland City, uh, just 10 yards inside their own half. 
Well, it looks as though uh, Milne might have uh, worn the back of uh, Raimana Lee Fung Kui's head. Nothing uh, untoward in it. Suto. It's a good run by James Pritchett to receive the return pass from Suto from the flick. Well, it looked as though uh, Pritchett might have uh, been tapped there as he goes past Edson Lemire. Let's have a look. Just there, he's lost his balance, and then Sebastian Garin came in and uh, had another little nibble. Well, who's that uh, on the floor? It looks like Mario Bielan. And Tainui Teho is going to get the first yellow card of this game. Well, it looks like an elbow has uh, caught Mario Bielan. Strangely enough, uh, given that replay, you wonder whether or not Teanui Teho uh, had to do that because uh, he certainly got up high enough. <laughs> Garin asking uh, the referee for uh, some clemency. I think he felt that there was an elbow used there. Auckland City have another corner. What can they produce from this one? Garcia. Goes to the far post away by Wagman. Teho gives chase. It's picked up by Pritchett. Visalich. Now a chance for, well, until uh, Raimana Lee Fung Kui slipped, there was possibly uh, the chance of a counter-attack. Now that belongs with Auckland. Visalich is back heel. First time ball into the box is just cleared at the last. Koprasic was unmarked at the far post. Koprasic again. Raimana Lee Fung Kui picks the ball up deep and uh, is fouled by Garcia. Ludovic uh, Graunia looking uh, tense as he watches his side uh, battle on gamely here. Auckland nil, AS Dragon nil, RFC Champions League match day four coming to you from uh, Trust Arena in Henderson, New Zealand. Karawan. Simon, Raimana Lee Fung Kui. Well, that's uh, pretty casual. Cleared by Sebastian Garin. City uh, have one clean sheet so far in this competition. That was the 2-0 uh, win away to Mondor. It's 0-0 here in the 39th minute of this game. Chris Bale, that's a good ball, but uh, Andrew Milne can't keep it in. Frustrating for the Welsh midfielder. Well, en route to last season's OFC Champions League, Auckland City conceded nine goals. It's quite a remarkable statistic when uh, you consider it. There were the most number of games played in terms of uh, the requirement. 
of uh, winning this tournament last season, six group games and then uh, home and away final. Bale. Oh, and that ball just cut out by Garin. Dickinson. Such a powerful play, Adam Dickinson. Pritchett. Has earned a throw-in for Auckland. Inside the final five minutes of the first half of what's been uh, rather cagey opening stanza to this match from both sides. Just a handful of chances for Auckland and nothing clear-cut for Dragon. Chris Bale, can he get a cross in? Goes to the near post, Garina is going to pick that up rather easily. Long clearance, finds uh, Tainui Teho. Jonathan Teho. Raimana Lee Funkui taking on Andrew Milne, can't get past him. Chance to counter attack for Auckland now, perhaps. It's a good ball for Dickinson, the goalkeeper's come for it, and he's claimed it. Excellent goalkeeping by Mikael Roche. Look at this, Dickinson not giving up the chase here. Neither was Roche. Both hands on the ball and uh, enough presence of mind to take his hands off the ball as he skidded out of the penalty area. Suto for Garcia. Look how many orange shirts are back defending at the moment. They've got a good shape to them, AS Dragon. There isn't much space between the lines. They're very compact. Bielan for Exposito. And it's just that shape that's uh, forcing Auckland into uh, trying some of these uh, through balls. There's not much space in behind the fullbacks on either side. Tehu climbing again on uh, Bielan. It's back with Vicilic. Koprasic, back to a skipper, now Garcia, Pritchett, first time ball, right idea, the execution, maybe uh, not as good as he had hoped, uh, James Pritchett, Bielan's clearance for Suto, now Bale, again. Vicilic uh, taking it forward now. Looking for Suto. Cut out by Jonathan Tejo. Suto. Koprasic. It's a good run by Andrew Milne here on the left. The cross is a good one as well and punch clear by Roche. <laughs> Wonderfully executed cross by Milne. This time it's Koprasic who winds it into the far post but uh, no takers. This was an excellent cross from Andrew Milne. And Roche took no chances whatsoever. It was Manel Exposito lurking over his left shoulder. Would have been the ideal time for the uh, home side to score as well. Just uh, a minute and a half to go before the break. Roche's clearance isn't a, a great one, and Garcia's able to return it. A chance for Exposito, goes to ground, and it's a penalty. A penalty for Auckland City. Gerald Oyaka had a good look at it. Well, now he's going to talk to the assistant referee. Well, look at that. Wagman put his, well, he's grabbed him there. 
and uh, Exposito went with it. So there's two sides to that particular coin. As a centre half, you just can't put your hands on a striker like that. You run the risk, you put the referee on the spot, and look at that. And uh, Exposito, let's be honest, he's been around a bit. Mikael Roche is uh, talking to the assistant referee. He's a pretty laid-back character, Mikael Roche. Now a chance for Dickinson from the penalty spot to put Auckland one goal to the good. Mikael Roche for AS Dragon. Can he produce something? No, he can't. Dickinson sends him the wrong way, and Auckland City have the lead. The timing could not be better. It's Dickinson's seventh goal in just four OFC Champions League games. And how important could that be in terms of the semi-final picture? Rinse of time added on. And AS Dragon may well open up here because they've got to get something from this game. And indeed, there goes the half-time whistle. Gerald Oyaka brings that first half to a close. And it's uh, Auckland City who lead AS Dragon by a goal to nil, courtesy of the Adam Dickinson penalty. Auckland assistant coach uh, Paul Gothard was uh, having a couple of words there with uh, the referee trio. Clearly not happy with something, but uh, coach Ramon Trebulic will be happy. as will uh, that group of supporters from Kiwatea Street. Mikael Roche is uh, still going with uh, the AS Dragon inquest. He just wants a word, and uh, Mirko Benishka is uh, urging him to save his investigation. It's uh, not going to change the scoreline, which reads Auckland City 1, AS Dragon 0. Just uh, the first minute as we look back on these highlights, Gustavo Suto robbed uh, Hermano Borba and then this long range shot tested goalkeeper Mikael Roche in these uh, wet, slippery conditions. Well worth a go, but Roche was equal to the task. Two minutes later, another opportunity for Tamatoa Wagman to uh, get to grips with Adam Dickinson. There's tension there, I can tell you. Auckland City had to wait for nearly a quarter of an hour for another go. It came from the left. It was a header from Manel Exposito, courtesy of an Andrew Milne cross. Doesn't test the goalkeeper, but did have him uh, marshalling the ball over that crossbar onto the roof of the net. Just before the half hour mark, Vincent Simon put in this uh, wonderful ball for Tainui Teho. Striker went between the right back and the centre half unmarked. And Tamari Williams had already read that pass, and the danger was over. Four minutes later, Gasser free kick, wound in, Ivan Vizilic header, smacking into the face of the crossbar and going over for a goal kick. That was as close as Auckland got up to that point. Ivan Vizilic uh, at his best. And then this piece of goalkeeping by Mikael Roche, just in the nick of time. Dickinson hadn't given up that chase, but the goalkeeping was sound, the judgment was sound, and the presence of mind to take his hands off the ball 
as he uh, slid out of the <laughs> box. And then this opportunity, another delicious cross from uh, Andrew Milne, punch clear by Roche. Good measurement, perfect weight, and uh, Exposito just lurking. And then the penalty. Tamato Wagman put his hands on the back of uh, Manal Exposito. Spanish striker goes to ground and uh, pretty straightforward decision in many respects. You have to say that uh, Exposito might have been able to keep his feet there. Nevertheless, as a centre-half, you can't give the referee uh, that sort of a decision to make. And then the execution of the penalty was perfect from Adam Dickinson. Mikael Roche went the wrong way and frustration for AS Dragon as they trail at half-time by a goal to nil. Join us back here at Trust Serena in just a couple of moments for the second half. Welcome back to Trust Serena in Henderson for the second half of the match between Auckland City and AS Dragon. Auckland City 1-0 up. Courtesy of an Adam Dickinson penalty in the 45th minute. And it could be enough, or could it be enough, to take Auckland into the last four? We shall see. And uh, the other point of interest will be how AS Dragon go about the rest of this game because they need to get a goal. They can't leave this uh, venue today without a point. It would make their chances of uh, qualification for the semi-finals uh, something of uh, a doubt. They do face Auckland in their final game. That is going to be played in Tahiti and uh, you would expect that with 12 points Auckland City may adopt a different approach to that final game, particularly if they can pick up uh, another Super City derby win, which is uh, a game that's looming large on the horizon. That is uh, Auckland City taking on Waitakere United at Kiwetea Street. Roche's clearance is uh, competently dealt with. It's picked up by Koprasic. Karawana again uh, winning the ball for Dragon. And there is an extra buzz in the step of the uh, Dragon players already in the first minute of this uh, second half. Stevie Chonghui can't get past uh, Chris Bale. Edson Lemaire for Raimana Lee Fung Kui. Can't keep the ball. Frustration shown by uh, Lee Fung Kui. He's had a pretty quiet game. Long ball intended for Suto. Wagman battling away. He's going to have to be careful, uh, Tamato Wagman. And this time he's picked up a free kick, taken quickly. Karawam. Boba, Simon, Boba gives it up to Koprasic, and this is uh, the danger for AS Dragon. They're playing uh, a bit more of an open game. They're going to have to take more risks, and if they get caught on the counter attack. It could be curtains, at least uh, for this particular match. Borba looking for Karawan. Played on by Garcia. Borba has it again. Simon winds in the cross early. Beeland copes with it. <laughs> Lee Fong Kui. Borba's attempted pass. Uh, doesn't find its target, but it's picked up by Karawan. Now it's in Lemaire, looking to get forward. Lemaire, Adam Dickinson doing the defending. Borba, 
Dry Munna Lee Fung Kui, not much space to work in. Oh, he's got the ball through, chance. Well, it's ended up in the back of the net, but it won't count. Tainu Teho's finish is going to go unregistered. Flag was up pretty quickly. This is a good ball by Rai Mana Lee Fung Kui, but as you can see there, and uh, Andrew Milne had a quick look over his shoulder. He was pretty confident that uh, Tainu Teho was uh, offside. It was a good finish. Won't count though. Oh, this is pretty straightforward, uh, <laughs> straightforward stuff. At half time, it appears uh, Sebastian Gaudin has uh, got some under armour as Dickinson goes to the far post and it's kept out by Vincent Simon. So Gaudin has uh, put some uh, body armour on at half time, but it's not the same colour as the playing top. And that's what Gerald Doyaka has uh, pointed out to the centre half. He's uh, made a running repair. And unfortunately for him, he's going to have to brave the uh, cold like the rest of us. Sebastian Garin Garcia. Easy. Whoa, and uh, Roche has lost it. It's hit the post. No, there's an infringement. The goalkeeper was fouled. Gustavo Suto getting a talking to from uh, Gerald Doyaka. I'm not uh, entirely sure if uh, we saw the worst of that in the replay. There didn't appear to be any contact in it. It was uh, perhaps uh, something that happened even further back than uh, we're able to replay for you. Lee Fung Kui. Trying to play it in behind Pritchett. It's a delicate header now, Jonathan Teho. Lee Fung Kui is battling to try and find some sort of space in that hole just in front of the Auckland City back four. They're crowding him out every time he gets the ball. Suto, header intended for Koprasic. Jonathan Tejo's picked it up. Sprays it wide for Vincent Simon. Borba to his left. He goes past Exposito. Looking to take on Milne. Gets to the byline, Simon. He's uh, earned a corner. It's a good run by Vincent Simon. And a chance for Dragon to perhaps pull one back. <laughs> Lee Fung Kui with uh, the corner. Tamata Wagman has got to be the target here. Just at the bottom of your picture. Goes to the far post. Williams uh, has splayed uh, his hands at that one and managed to get it clear. Dickinson. Nice uh, attempted pass here. Cut out by Vincent Simon. Borba can't hold on to it. Suto. Now Vasilic for Garcia. Pritchard is shut down by Borba. Borba's uh, interceptions are not bad. It's fallen for Tainui Teho. Stevie chong -Hui. Now Jonathan Teho might fancy a shot here. And uh, he does, but the execution was uh, not a good one. Well, AS Dragon coach Ludovic uh, Graunia has uh, sent some substitutes to go and warm up. So stay tuned for some changes. They're on their way. As Dragon seek to rectify this one goal deficit. They weren't able to uh, pull back the goal. They lost to Waitakere in Papaiti in the weekend. Can they do it here today? That's the question. Or can Auckland extend the lead? They might be uh, quite comfortable with the way things are, Auckland City. Oh, and that's uh, so close. 
Tamati Williams almost uh, caught out on the ball by Jonathan Teho. Bielan, former Croatia age group internationalist Mario Bielan. Wagman's given that straight to uh, Pedro Garcia. Koprasic is unmarked to his right. And Wagman makes up for his earlier error, intercepts the pass intended for Suto. Now Jonathan Tejo, he's got Haimano Borba ahead of him and he's given it straight to Andrew Milne. Opportunity to break for Auckland. Gustavo Suto. Now the goal scorer, Adam Dickinson. Bends across in, useful one. Easy take for Mikael Roche. Well this game's starting to open up. 10 minutes into the second half. Auckland City 1, AS Dragon 0. Teho cutting in on his left. Well, Dragon just unable to uh, link their passes up in that final third. Auckland City have just squeezed that space out. So the intensity level's gone up, but uh, penetration from uh, AS Dragon has... Uh, not been uh, what they require it to be. Here's Jonathan Teo. Now he's got an opportunity to cross here. Good covering from Chris Bale. Well, there was uh, perhaps a little touch uh, by Gustavo Suto on the feet of uh, Mikel Roche. And that is perhaps what uh, Jared Oyak has spotted. So AS Dragon have a corner. They've stacked plenty of players uh, in and around that near post. And the goalkeeper, Koprasic, is between Williams and Raimana Lifan Koyas. Tainui Teho winds it into the near post. Auckland have managed to get it clear. Gaurin with the long ball in that will be dealt with by Ivan Vicilic. His header goes to Haimano Borba. Vincent Simon. Well, first time pass was uh, a sloppy one from Tanui Teho. He's going to get a second go at it. Garcia, that's a nice tackle. Auckland can start a counter attack through Garcia. Simon managing to win uh, a physical battle with uh, Pedro Garcia. Karawan goes past Dickinson. Prime Lee Fung Kui. And that's a heavy challenge on Stevie Chong Hui. Mario Bielin was the uh, fender, I think, and he's received a uh, few harsh words from uh, the referee. Wagman's looking to take this for Dragon. They go short. Well, short of quality. Simon understandably uh, upset with uh, his teammate. Andrew Milne, that's not a bad ball if it can stay in, which it doesn't. It was the right idea, not the right execution. Garin chooses to go long, intercepted by Bale. That's a useful interception as well. Suto. 
was lurking on the edge of the Dragon penalty area and he's adjudged to have fouled. Uh, it's in Lemaire and he's uh, got a yellow card for his trouble. So he joins Tainui Teho in the book. Karawan. Pritchett read that uh, cross and cushioned the header into Suto. Gaurin, Borba, Teanui, Jonathan Teho. This is a, a nice piece of uh, build-up play from Dragon. The question will be what can they do with the final pass because that's what's been lacking. Lemaire, Jonathan Teho. Siemens made a run just in behind Andrew Milne, but again... That final pass is cut out, and Auckland can counter. And uh, Wagman concedes a free kick. Uh, the challenge on Daniel Koprasic. Well, there's a lot to admire about the way Auckland City go about these uh, OFC Champions League games. Their experience accumulated over uh, the past 45 Continental Club fixtures is uh, holding them in good stead at the moment. Garcia. Oh, that's a useful uh, free kick. Interesting free kick from Auckland. Tainu Teho. This time Dragon can counter-attack. Auckland back in numbers. That's Adam Dickinson back there doing a, a defensive job. Karawam. Jonathan Teho. Well, the intensity level's just starting to pick up here in the second half. Brian Manali Fung Kui. Well, Beelan was taking a risk by going to ground. modern game that's uh, always something that referees are looking for as soon as you go to ground and a player side on or in that position as uh, Tainui Teho was you run the risk of conceding a free kick and that's what's happened we're in the 62nd minute Auckland City 1 AS Dragon 0 Free kick to be taken by Vincent Simon. I don't think uh, this is within his range. Perhaps uh, we'll try and bend this into somewhere in and around the penalty spot. Look for a glancing header perhaps. We shall see. Well, it's uh, an attempted shot in the end that hits the foot of uh, Jonathan Tejo and... Uh, an Auckland City player. Chris Bale and Gerald Oyaka in deep discussion. And uh, both sides now making changes. Sylvain Graglia. has come on, he is uh, an out and out attacker, Gralia, and uh, Gustavo Suto, shortly after being booked, has been hooked, and it's Alex Fenerides who joins the action for the Navy Blues. Wonderful athlete, uh, Alex Fenerides. He's going to add some uh, steel to this Auckland City side, that's for sure. Heimano Borba, 
Good jump from Pritchett. Away by Bale. It's back to Borba, though. Garcia can't win it. Andrew Milne can. Now Auckland can break. Exposito past Wagman. Dickinson keeps the move alive with uh, Garcia. Now Koprasic. Bale steaming up here on the right. Garin for company. Garcia. Pass Garin. He can cross here. Oh, it's a good one. Exposito couldn't quite get a clean connection. Vincent Simon did the rest. It's going to be a corner for Auckland. Oh, and uh, Garcia's corner flashes across the forehead of Daniel Koprasic. He couldn't get a clean connection either. Still plenty of time for AS Dragon to uh, retrieve the situation. Yay! Not with passes like that, though. Not only is the scoreline against them, history's against them. Uh, no Tahitian side has been able to record a victory in New Zealand and Continental Club competition. And as I said before, when they uh, snatched a nil-nil draw with Waitakere United, that was the first time a uh, Tishan club had managed the feat. Simon had a good game for Dragon this afternoon, Vincent Simon. Raimana Lee Fung Kui can't get his feet working. Now Fenerides. Garcia. It's been all over the place for Auckland today. Pedro Garcia. Borba. Chong Hui and he's caught. And it's a free kick for Dragon. Stevie Chong Hui hasn't got up yet. Which could be... Uh, the problem for Dragon. No, he's uh, back to his feet. And the free kick is uh, wasted. So just under 24 minutes to go. Well, if the result were to stay the same, Auckland City would go to 12 points and uh, keep their 100% winning record. Dragon would uh, be on four points after four games. And with Waitakere to play Mondor, and based on Mondor's last outing, you would have to uh, make Waitakere red-hot favourites for that. As we see Pritchett winding across to the near post, and so close. So close for Auckland then. Wonderful piece of skill by Manel Exposito with the improvised finish. Look at the ball from Pritchett. Spot on. And uh, Exposito's right foot effort behind the leading leg struck the post. Meanwhile, with Dragon, Raimana Lee Fung Kui. And again, it's that final pass for AS Dragon that seems to be the key issue. This time it's Dickinson who goes to ground and Auckland City have a free kick. Garcia. Garcia again. Wagman holding him off trying to uh, get the goal kick, which he's achieved.
Well, Tishan Club football's come a long way since uh, 2005. This is certainly uh, one of the better Tishan Club champion sides that uh, I've uh, been able to describe the action of. Go back to uh, the outfits like uh, Ace Manaura, who for two seasons in a row struggled to make a positive impression in this competition. Perhaps questions over that team's fitness. There's no such uh, questions here about AS Dragon. Gralia, back to Borba. They're well organised. Fitness levels are high. And they've certainly proved uh, difficult opponents for both Auckland and Waitakere. And they're not out of this game yet. Karawan for Tanui Teho. Well, Vincent Simon was on his right, and that was asking an awful lot of him. Now the pressure goes back on Dragon. Chris Bale evades one challenge from Borba. Picks out Koprasic. He's got Dickinson to his right. Exposito drifting into the penalty area. Dickinson can cross. And uh, there's an infringement spotted by the referee. And Adam Dickinson uh, asked a question of uh, Gerald Doyaka, but it's not going to change the decision. Karawan. Borba. Nice piece of play and taken out by Pedro Garcia. Heimano Borba was uh, too quick on his feet for Garcia on that uh, occasion. the step over that does uh, Pedro Garcia and uh, he makes sure that Borba doesn't advance any further. Well here's a yellow card for Mikel Roche. Now Roche is on halfway and he's got uh, no need to be involved with this. Well, Tamatoa Wagman has gone forward for this one, the center half. Silvan Gralia could be another target. Oh, and Williams just uh, slightly misjudged that. He's had to punch it out for a corner. It was hoisted to the far post, and uh, yeah, Williams having to stretch to his right to make sure that that didn't find its target. Teho aimed at the keeper and it's uh, shot right through to the other side. It's going to be a AS Dragon throw. So Dragon starting to exert a little bit of pressure on Auckland City. Lee Fun Kui improvises a ball in. That's uh, good defending by James Pritchett. Dragon starting to flex their muscles here. Sylvain Gralia. Another free kick for Dragon. Well, the mood of this game is uh, on a knife edge out there. You can just sense that uh, it's been simmering away. At different flashpoints throughout this game. Tamato Wagman and Adam Dickinson have had a running battle. So, Primana Lee Fun Kui goes short with the free kick. Winds it into the penalty spot. It goes across to. Uh, Heimano Borba, he's hooked it back into the penalty area. And another free kick, this time in favour of Auckland City. And the pressure goes off the Navy Blues for the moment.
Well, another substitution uh, put into effect. Stevie Chongkwai has uh, come out. Samuel Nayune has joined the action. Could be crucial for AS Dragon. It's just uh, another attacking option. They've got to explore as time slowly becomes the enemy for them here. Dickinson winds in across. Kopricic cushioned header for Bale. Bale can't poke it beyond uh, Edson Lemaire. Now Sylvain Garlia. Interesting uh, ball from Garlia. It's a good one. But it's just got too much on it for Raimund Ali Funkui. The idea was right. Borba. Well, Auckland penned uh, deep in their own half. Edson Lemaire to substitute uh, the INA. Beelan. Exposito. Well, Dragon starting to uh, show signs that uh, they're not too far away from creating something. Simon Robs uh, Exposito, and a chance, and it's in the back of the net. Teanui Teho is equalised for AS Dragon. Sensational moment. You had the feeling that uh, something was in the offing for Dragon, and they've produced it. Teanui Teho. Simon did the damage here, taking the ball off Exposito. Borba's through ball for Tejo. One touch to take it away from Vissalic and the right foot. The right foot finish from Tejo was perfect. And Dragon have drawn level. Auckland City 1, AS Dragon 1. And a dramatic final quarter of an hour about to unfold for you. Australia, his uh, pass is intercepted by Bale. Now Dickinson. Well, Auckland City needs something special. Dickinson goes past uh, Grayen, and he's got a free kick. Grayen was uh, suggesting it was a dive. Well, the tension here at uh, Truss Arena is palpable. And can the defending champions, the OFC Champions League champions, uh, pull this one out of the fire? Garcia, it's a good ball in. Roche has uh, done well. He's going to get a second bite at it, unchallenged. Well, can uh, Dragon go on and perhaps uh, nick this? Well, there's a chance. Williams is out of his goal. Milne does uh, the job in the absence of his goalkeeper. The Auckland City support who was so vocal throughout have uh, fallen quiet. Chance for the substitute in 9 a and his shot goes wide.
Well, they made history against Waitakere when they came to Fred Taylor Park and grabbed a draw. West Auckland looks as though it's becoming a home away from home for AS Dragon. Garcia, it's a good ball. Exposito into the penalty area. And it's a wayward pass picked up by Gralia. Borba. Raimana Lee Funkui. Borba again. Fenaridis. Well, Tamatai Wagman had his foot up, but uh, we're going to get an Auckland City free kick anyway. It's taken quickly by Garcia. Bale. Looking for Exposito. Mikel Roche comes after it, gets a hand on it. Still with Roche. Well, Auckland City with a record of uh, played 6 1 6 in New Zealand against Tahitian clubs. That record's in danger of uh, receiving a blemish today. We're in the 80th minute. Auckland City 1, AS Dragon 1. And if it were to stay the same, it would be a result uh, that would suit Waitakere United. No end, knowing that uh, they would then potentially be within three points of uh, Auckland City, who would still remain top of the group. It's in Lemire, it's a good ball, chance, and it's spurned by Nyane, the substitute. Tamani Williams did well to tidy that up. Simon. It's a good ball. Oh, and a chance. Tejo. He scores it, but he's offside. Williams goes long. Pritchett helps it on its way. Borba with the header, picked up by Koprasic. Gralia with uh, an illegal challenge on uh, Koprasic, and it results in a free kick. Well, that's going to be pulled back. Uh, presumably, uh, the ball was in motion when it was played, uh, perhaps. Free kick taken early. Chris Bale winds in across. Oh, and a chance, and it's wide. Unbelievable. Exposito was unmarked, and the chance opened up in front of him. The cross was a delicious one, and look at that. that be a key moment in this particular game Tainu Itaho Andrew Milne has conceded a corner to AS Dragon sense an upset they were lucky to survive at one end of the pitch what can they produce at the other? Raimana Lee Funkui with the corner. And Yane at the near post. Oh, and a chance, and it misses out uh, two or three players. Borba. Oh, it's in. Can you believe it? Heimano Borba has put AS Dragon in the lead. With seven minutes to go, the corner was wound in. Auckland City players missed it. Borba's gone to pick it up. It's taken uh, 
looks like a deflection of Ivan Vicilic, in fact. Sensational scenes here at Trust Stadium. Auckland City, who are leading by goal to nil, now trail 2-1. and how this match has turned. Pritchett can't uh, latch on to Koprasic's uh, pass. What a moment for AS Dragon. They're on the verge of becoming uh, the first Tahitian club to knock over a New Zealand club, knock over the defending Oceania champions, no less. The question is, though, can they hold out? Dickinson goes to the far post. Chris Bale's downward header is off target. inside the final five minutes. Well, there are going to be uh, some scenes of delirium here if uh, AS Dragon can hold on to this. And Vincent Simon has gone into the book for time wasting. Well, they've shown resilience and character, AS Dragon. And those uh, qualities look as though they could quite possibly earn them a victory, an unlikely victory. An historic one, if they can manage it. There's still uh, time left for Auckland. Vesalich's header goes as far as Garcia. Now a chance for Auckland to break. Chris Bale. He's got Dickinson steaming up on his right. Tries to link him up. Can't do it. It's out for an Auckland throw. Another throw for Auckland. That's a good ball from Garcia. What can Pritchett produce? It's gone to the edge of the box. Fenerides can't get there. And Yane has picked it up. It's a free kick for AS Dragon. Well, Auckland City have lost just uh, four games in the OFC Champions League in eight years of competition. One to an A-League side, one to Waitakere United, one to Amakel of Vanuatu, and uh, another to AS Pire of Tahiti. 
and it could be that AS Dragon join Pire in the record books. But what will make this uh, potentially sweeter for Dragon is the fact that it's on New Zealand soil. That's never been achieved. Gaurin in uh, no real hurry to get this going. He's uh, knocked it long. Vincent Simon will take this to the corner flag. Just over a minute to go. And it looks as though there's going to be a minimum additional time of around four minutes. Borba played all the way back to Wagman. Long ball is uh, won by Gralia. Oh, and suggestion of a handball, chance for Gralia to make it three. And he has. In the 90th minute, AS Dragon have sealed the win, surely now. Sylvain Gralia takes the congratulations of his teammates and history about to be made for the Tahitian champions. They've turned in a remarkable second half performance. And it's about to bear fruit. The finish from Gralia was a superb one. And the defending champions Look out on their feet. And look at the sheer delight on those faces. Chris Bale with a volley. It's uh, well wide of the target. Torea Maruoi is uh, brought into the uh, action. Tainui Teho, one of the goal scorers, is withdrawn. Looks purely perfunctory at the moment. As uh, Dragon look to wind the clock down. Well, it was all going so well for Auckland City. And it's uh, been a remarkable turnaround by the Tahitian Club champions. Grali has picked it up now. Karawan. Straight to Ivan Vesilic. Raimana Lee Fun Kui.
Well, Exposito looking for uh, anything at the moment. It's taken a whack uh, to his lower back. Mikel Roche in absolutely no hurry to get the ball moving. Roche with the clearance. And it's all over. AS Dragon have made history at Trust Arena. They become the first Tahitian club to knock over a New Zealand club on New Zealand soil in continental competition. They've uh, created history again for the second time in this competition. Their nil-nil draw with uh, Waitakere was groundbreaking. This has taken them to a whole new level. Disaster for Auckland City. Plenty for them to think about before the Super City derby that looms this weekend for AS Dragon. What a way to come back. Beaten 1 0 in Papiti by Waitakere to come to Auckland and register a 3-1 win. There's nothing short of uh, astonishing. One of the group A matches for you, Sean. Auckland City remain top of uh, Group B with uh, nine points. Dragon have gone to seven. Waitakere are on four. They play Mondor. Straight after this. And we can go to Olivia Hook, who's with Ramon Trebuliac. It is very tight. We knew it was going to be very tight, you know. It's a uh, defeat. Uh, but, you know, still two more games to play, and, and we're still on top. So we'll keep going. We have to get back up from, from this, you know, and, and get ready for the next game. And it's going to be tough, as tough or, or tougher than this one. So. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Les clés du match, le match s'est exactement passé comme on l'avait prévu. Le plan de jeu qu'on a mis en place aujourd'hui a fonctionné à merveille. Si ce n'est cette erreur, ce petit détail qu'on il nous coûte cher à la 43e minute avec le dégagement de Mika Roche raté. Et surtout aujourd'hui, on ne voulait pas mourir. On savait qu'en cas de résultat négatif, on risque d'être mort. Donc ce soir, on est encore vivant. Et c'est une belle revanche par rapport à la défaite de Watakere qu'on a trouvé très injuste. And we can take a look back on the highlights of what has turned out to be one of the most fascinating matches in OFC Champions League history. Just four minutes after the restart, uh, AS Dragon had already changed the pitch of uh, their performance. Tejo had the ball in the back of the net. This was ruled out for offside, but uh, curiously enough, he was going to get an opportunity of similar kind. Garcia's corner was wound in. Now this looked like uh, a bit of a harsh call on Gustavo Suto. Although, a second look at it, it looks as though he might have just touched the feet of the goalkeeper and that caught the attention of the referee. And this was a key moment in the match. Pritchett wound in the cross. That's a wonderful effort by Manal Exposito, just with the instep of the right foot. Audacious effort and hit the outside of the post. And this moment uh, was an anxious one for goalkeeper Tamati Williams. He looked as though he might have uh, just uh, slightly misjudged that, but he did enough to make sure that it didn't end up on the head of an opponent. And the turning point in this game, Vincent Simon winning possession, laid off to Borbea. His through ball found Teanui Teho, who got between uh, Mario Bielan and Ivan Vicilic, and the right foot shot was superb. And that was uh, AS Dragon Joy. Now this was uh, a curious moment for Tamati Williams. He came out to try and uh, get this ball off Raimata Lee Fankui. 
and had to rely on Andrew Milne, who was backing him up, to uh, provide the cover. With 10 minutes to go, Auckland City were on the ropes, and Edson Lemaire just wound this ball in, looking for the substitute in Yone, and his first touch let him down. It was a good ball in from Edson Lemaire. The flag stayed down, but the first touch by uh, Inyane was not good enough to ripple the net, although he didn't have much uh, long to wait. Another chance for Teho. Ball in the back of the net again. Offside flag went up. Incredibly, Teho had the ball in the back of the net three times in that second half. Two minutes later, wonderful chance for Auckland. Chris Bale's cross was uh, perfect. There was nobody marking Manal Exposito. Catalan points it out to his uh, teammates. And that miss uh, could have made the difference because just two minutes later, Borba's shot come cross takes a deflection off Ivan Vissilic into the back of Auckland City's net. Look at that, it was travelling so fast, uh, Vissilic hardly had a moment to respond to it. Just came off the thigh and there was nothing Tarmody Williams could do. Two, one for AS Dragon and there was more to come. In the last minute, substitute Silvan Gralia took control of this situation, won the ball off Ivan Vesalic, there was a hint of handball from Mario Bielan, and then he just got round the uh, last-ditch tackle. From Tarmody Williams, chipped into the back of the net for 3-1, and history made for AS Dragon, history made for Tahitian club football, and a moment they're going to savour and enjoy, unbeaten in New Zealand so far, in two games in the OC Champions League for 2013. And it'll take uh, some doing to wipe the smiles off uh, those players' faces. Thank you for being part of the action. It's been uh, a privilege to describe it for you. And we'll see you back here for Waitakere United and AS Mondor shortly.